Well, it's always fun uh, to uh, when you work for it or recognize it. But like I always said, uh, all those titles, uh, I would not get earned them uh, without all the defense and uh, all the these own support that I have in front of me. So um, it's a big part, a big team effort. I've been uh, I've been working really hard and uh, thing uh, the wind didn't came uh, before this weekend and uh, fi finally getting one on the board. Then um, full the, f the fitting was uh, was really good was awesome for me and um, just a satisfaction. As a goalie, you always uh, you always like getting shot early in the game to uh, put you in the game and uh, no don't have to wait too long. Uh, to get to see those first shots, so um, I think El Goli uh, loves uh, love getting shot a lot, especially in the first period. Yes, I talk a little bit with uh, my goalie coach uh, from Edmonton. I think yeah, Freddie's coming down uh, tomorrow. I think to work uh, with me for the rest of the week. So that's going to be a pretty, uh, pretty fun, pretty exciting. It's always uh, hard work and always benefit for me. Well, you get worried about a guy not being rewarded for his uh, strong play, so you worry about his confidence. And you know, the first one was a good one for for him, and then the uh, the second one, you know, he was uh, he was a difference maker in the first one and a difference maker in the second. So to get two in a row and then be named goalie of the week, it's 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 great. It's great for him. Uh, well deserved. Uh, a long time coming for sure, but uh, it's nice to see him finally get rewarded. I think that just only can help a guy's confidence. Despite it being only November and not maybe like a playoff game in April, fitting that he put his arms in the air and essentially a chance to exhale with all that patience of being rewarded. Yeah, well, it was tough for him because he, you know, you, you just think back to the Las Vegas game where, uh, you know, we, we let him down with nine seconds left. We didn't do what we needed to do in front of him. And uh, games before, he'd been so close and played so well that, uh, you know, we couldn't find a way to support him offensively. And for uh, the guys to be able to come up with a big third period and then him to be able to shut the door, uh, I think you probably uh, felt the big weight lifted off his shoulders. Uh, not that he knew it was going to come, but sometimes when it when it stretches out like that, you, you wonder how long is it going to take. I think the one thing I can say is that our goaltending this year has been very strong. The, you know, they're, they're two very talented uh, young men. More importantly, they're focused. They work real hard. I, I don't think we've had a soft goal really go in, uh, go in yet. And if it's been a soft goal, it's been a soft goal in their mind, not in uh, what everybody else would deem a soft goal. So I think that's a that's a positive. I think for more than anything, it helps your team feel like they can win any given night. And uh, when when your goaltender's making the big saves, but then making all the routine saves, there become there starts to become a real sense of confidence in him, and and guys play loose.